Hi guys, so the video you're about to watch is actually a clip taken from one of my recent videos in which I gave sort of an overview and my review of every single free Shopify theme on Shopify's theme store. So if you guys are just first right now getting started choosing a theme for your Shopify store, uh, I'd recommend you guys go check out that video. It gives a pretty good overview of what the different pros and cons of each theme is and like what your choices are as far as themes go. So I'll leave a link to that down in the description of this video and I'll also link to it at the end of this video. But uh, without further ado, let's just get started with this theme review. All right, guys, so the next theme that I want to review is the narrative theme. Basically, I find narrative works really well if you're building a store that's centered around a single product, right? Or, you know, a single product that has multiple variants, right? Um, and you'll see, like, as we go into the demo stores and we start to look at the sections and whatnot, you'll see what I'm talking about. So, you know, they say it's built for small catalogs. This hero video, um, you know, basically the, it has a really nice uh, section on the homepage where you can put a full screen video that uh, theoretically should autoplay depending on your, your visitor's browser slash um, whether they're using an ad blocker or not. A lot of the themes they have uh, the option to embed videos, but they don't have uh, the big like impressive full screen uh, experience on, on a desktop. Uh, you know, they say design for visual storytelling. Yeah, that's the name narrative. Um, fixed navigation, that's just referring to this, like, instead of having a menu bar, it, it just has this hamburger, and you'll see as we get into um, looking at the demo site, we'll see that more. Vertical slideshow, you know, that's better shown than said, so we'll just wait until we get into the demo to show that. Uh, and then the wide layout, basically this this theme looks really good on, on desktops. This theme, more than a lot of the other themes, uh, free themes on Shopify, makes use of you know having that huge width on a desktop so if we get into looking at some of the demo stores you can see this is just their earthy theme style so you can see it basically has uh you know it's pretty standard for a lot of themes they, they just have a, a sort of a an image a huge image and then they have you know the title and, and a button or whatever uh that's pretty standard but this is what i was talking about with this this hamburger icon you know you hover over it uh it gives you a little animation you click that it opens up and you can see now we have our menu here, right? So if you want a, um, you know, across the screen menu, this is not the theme for you. Um, but if you're fine with having this, you know, transparent uh, header with, um, with the hamburger, that's good. And the other thing to note is this is like a semi sticky header because basically when you're scrolling down, it's not there. As soon as you scroll back up, we can access the menu again. So anyway, so if we go down here, you know, this is just image with text that's really standard. Uh, this is this full screen video that I was talking about before. It's just some text. Uh, this is a gallery here. Um, I'm, sh I'm sure these have the option where you could, you could link something here. Right now they don't have anything linked on these images, but you probably could link something here. Um, this, you can see, this is this vertical slideshow that, that um, you know, it's talking about here where basically you scroll down and the right side of the, the screen is scrolling, the left side seems to say the same. This is really great. You can showcase all the different variants of your, your product. Um, you know, that's one of the reasons this is such a great uh, uh, theme for, for a single product store. Um, so what else do we have? A featured product here. If, if we go and look at, the other thing I wanted to show you guys really quickly is if we look at one of these um, product pages, you can see, so it has this image here. When we hover over it, it'll zoom into the image. Um, you know, title, buttons, standard stuff. We have the description. And then, um, you know, if we add this to cart, let's see what happens. It has a sidebar cart. Uh, I don't think it has a dedicated cart page. It has this sidebar cart. Um, you can see that down here, if you have really good product images, you might consider using this theme just because the product images are uh, really showcased with this theme. Um, the other thing that this theme, you know, this theme supports uh, having like sort of 3D models. It'll take a while to load and depending on what browser or the speed of your computer or whatnot, um, you know, there's, it, it, it will, so I've just zoomed in like a ton, but you can see that basically I'm sort of dragging, clicking and dragging this and it's rotating the stroller. So it's giving me, you know, like you can really bring your product to life if you have this 3D model. Um, for your customer. So you can see that this is like a video um, that I've clicked on. If we go check out the other theme styles, you can see they're very similar. The only difference is um, 
this this sort of uh, you know this is like one of these slideshows, but the way they they have it set up is basically such that like these down here are the different slides. So you can click this, and this view more button will pop up, and um, you know we go to the other slide when we click these. So um, so that's kind of neat because that's pretty unique to this theme. Uh, you can see that there's those CSS transitions on some of the um, like decoration here where this like wasn't there, and then I scrolled down and it sort of uh, grew out of out of nowhere. Um, it has a review carousel, which basically, you're still gonna have to enter the reviews, you're still gonna have to type them in yourself, um, but you know, it'll do this thing where it's it like is fading them in and out. Uh, it's kind of nice. You can see that that, another CSS transition there. Um, this is just a vertical slideshow. Yeah, so this is, that's everything on this theme. Um, you know, the different themes are very, for all the, the, or the different theme styles, for all the Shopify themes, they're all very similar. Um, you can just see the different like things that they've done with these types of sites. Um, and I think that's useful for you guys to see is just like see what they've, like for instance this, this theme style specifically, I think with the product that they have it lined up with and everything, I think, you know, I could see this site converting very well. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, so I think that narrative is basically really good for um, single product sites. Like if you're just selling a single product and you really want to make a landing page for that that product and and like really explain a ton about the brand and the product and whatnot, and then have a call to action at the bottom, um, you know I think it's great. It's a great option for that. If you're looking at doing like content marketing and like really getting into building out your site like to a huge degree and like. Uh, you want to have a huge catalog, I wouldn't recommend Narrative. So we're on my test site and we're going to take a look at all the different sections you can add to the home page. Most of these sections for most Shopify themes are pretty similar. Um, you know, you can see here that we have the different slides, right, that we can, like I was showcasing before with the warm theme. Um, you can see, uh, you know, we can make custom content. That's pretty standard for a lot of the theme. You can literally kind of customize the layout of, of the the um, section really well. Uh, I find that's really useful. So if you guys haven't given that a try with your themes, I would definitely give that a try. With the testimonials, we're still gonna have to type these in. It's not like it adds review functionality to the website. Um, let's see with the header if we can make it non-transparent. I think we can, right? So we can click this. Yeah, and it becomes non-transparent if we click that. Um, you know, we can we can change the the uh, the color of the icons and whatnot. Um, you know, we can show an announcement. That's pretty standard. We could show our social icons. Right now, I don't have those set up, so they're not going to show. But you know, they'd probably be here or something. You know, I would say basically with narrative. If I'm going to rank it, I'd say, you know, I'm going to give it an S because it's the only theme so far that we've really seen that would work extremely well for a single product site. Um, but other than that, um, you know, it's not as versatile, obviously, as like Brooklyn or Debut. Um, but because they've pinholed it down to doing one thing, I think it really does that one thing well. So I'm going to give it an S, but I'll rank it behind Brooklyn and Debut.